Welcome. In front of me is an Infinix Hot 30i and today I will show you how you can enable and also set up your Do Not Disturb mode. So to get started, you want to pull down your toggles by swiping down from the top of your screen like this and locate the toggle for Do Not Disturb mode. Now if you don't see it, similar to me, you, this might mean that we need to add it manually. So we can do so by clicking right here on this pencil, scroll down, and there we go. It's right here, do not disturb. You can see we have a little plus icon, so we're going to click on it, and this gets added to our toggles. When we go back, we should have access to it on oh, somewhere here. For me, it's at the bottom. Anyway, once you see it now, you can hold it, and this will quickly take you to the settings where you can customize how the mode will function when you enable it. Now, to quickly touch upon just some of the options that we have access to, we have people, under which you can select who can call you or message you, and you have options between contacts, favorites, no one, and everyone. And calls has additional option compared to the messages with the allow repeated callers. So if someone calls you twice within a 15 minute period, and they will bypass whatever you have selected right here. Now going back, we have things like duration for quick settings. This is a great option for people that use this mode occasionally on just, for instance, maybe you have a business meeting uh, and you want to enable it. I would recommend probably changing it to a timed one, maybe make it like three hours or so. Uh, and the reason I recommend utilizing this is from my personal kind of experience. Um, when I would enable this, I would most likely forget about it later on. And hence, that would mean that the mode would be by default running indefinitely in the background till I remember about it. But with this option, after three hours, the device will turn it off automatically for me. I can obviously turn it off before that time if I remember about it. So it's a great option to kind of get rid of it once you're done needing it, but you just didn't think about it that to turn it off yet. Anyway, um, we also have schedule right here, which allows you to select or select or set up a fully automatic schedule. There are a couple on this device that come pre-made. We have sleeping and event. Uh, sleeping is the most common one that comes with basically every device and starts at 7 uh, or 10 p.m. and ends at 7 a.m. and it runs all week long. You can edit this one if you want to. And if you want to use other ones, you can obviously toggle them on. For schedule modes, you would turn them on in here like so. And that's all you need to do. And obviously you can select add more to create your brand new one, name it whatever you want. And same like, the page is the same as the previous one. Just select the days of the week that you want it to run during. So this one would be uh, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, just kind of what I enabled. And here you have a start and end time. And there we go. Once you set this up, it automatically becomes enabled. So this is something to keep in mind. Um, when you add one, it automatically gets turned on. Uh, so if you don't want to have it right away, but maybe you just want to prepare the settings for later on, maybe to enable it once you, I don't know, need it, uh, then just keep that in mind that it will automatically become enabled, but that's kind of the purpose of, I guess, the uh, schedule mode. And you have a couple additional options in here, which you can go through and just see what you might want to change, uh, but I wanted to only touch upon the couple that are more important. Anyway, once everything is set up, you can find the toggle and simply tap on it whenever you want to use it. Now, this time around, it falls, I believe, under the schedule, uh, schedule, which is enabled that starts at 4 p.m. and we already have 7 p.m. So it's automatically gonna be turning on. Uh, so just, I, I believe that's why it's turning on like this, or was turned on. And in any case, you can obviously turn it off yourself by tapping on a toggle once again, even when it's in schedule mode. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.